stuff. You gotta get the Service Pro non-chlorinated brake cleaner. That is the stuff. Coronavirus killer. Says uh, extreme inflammable. So if you do get it on your hands, you can then catch yourself on fire no. to just singe it. You know. All right, so we're back for another day. Jeremy's already over here cutting some metal. Welding on our frame that we're making. So these will be the center pieces to it that we weld in over here. So that piece Jeremy's cutting is gonna go right here in this gap. I don't know if it's gonna be right here or where, but that's where it's gonna go. And then these are gonna get welded onto the back side of the center ones, probably up towards the top a little bit, I would say. So, we'll get All right, so we got the first one all tacked in place. Now this is what it's gonna be like. So we're just gonna lay some welds on her and see how it goes. All right, so I got this one partially welded in. The other side needs to be done. We got this one tacked in. Jamie's gonna weld that one in. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm gonna, I don't know, figure something out. Go from there. Maybe work on this thing. We got these oilers that we gotta bend some plates up and get into the right spot. So I might work on that while Jeremy's welding this in. All right, so. We got the first mounting bracket. Is that the right term for this? I think so, something like that. Anyways, it's mounted on. That's what it's like. We got her off just where she needs to be. And yeah, so Jamie's gonna try to weld with this welder. He seems to, uh, they seem not to get along very well. I All right, so I got my bracket made up here for the, the thingamabob, this thing right, for the, Brush. Brush is the right word. So anyways, it's gonna go in here, stick it through, spin your nut on. Drop something? I did. Drop my washer. Anyways, so then we'll take this up and oh, we gotta climb up here. All right, so I've come to the conclusion that it's too short. So we'll just put it up here for the front one and use it there. It's not gonna hurt anything. I can just make it a little bit shorter for that. But anyways, pretty much what we're doing, hold on, let me put this in there. Pretty much what it's gonna be is I'm gonna drill a new hole over here and this is how the brush will run. I'll sit and it'll just bolt right through there. And as the chain goes around, it just pumps oil. All right, so I got it mounted up. You can see I just used some threaded rod and made the mount. 
I'm gonna just bolt it on this back side here to tighten it up and then I got the plate all bent up and the brush on it. Um, I went right above the hole that it used to have and you can see here that it ain't gonna reach. So I don't know if I'll just move the hole this way three inches, move it this way three inches or what i'm still trying to decide on what i want to do if i want to run a new line or what so i don't know i'll make that decision after lunch but then i'll work on the other one i should probably start putting this thing back together is what i really should do all right jeremy's got these pieces welded on they look good and so that's how it'll work. The quick neck will just come off and scoop these and we'll be all hooked up and ready to rock. All right, so we got this door done for my sister's bathroom. Um, it looks good, except for the little bit of gaposis we got in here. So, I don't know, first attempt at this. Definitely, definitely screwed it up here, but I don't know. So I don't know if you're supposed to actually use this as like a template for the other side like this, or, and then you just cut the gap out here in the middle. I think that's what the next attempt's gonna be, seeing that my uh, guesstimation attempt didn't work. So we're only off by that much. I don't, I don't know what's wrong here. Or by that much, I don't know something but anyways so we gotta get some more lumber for that but it is what it is still haven't made it any farther on this thing i got sidetracked by a door but it looks like we did a pretty good job on that a little brush we'll have to do the other one here pretty soon but. Hey, are you guys okay? Well, we're back at it again today on the store. I went and picked up my piece of wood to actually, to actually make the right cuts and do it on and not just guess on it. So we went through, I watched a YouTube video on how to do it, learn the right way. I'm good, we're gonna screw it down and it'll be done. So Michelle will be happy. She's got a new bathroom door.
All right, so we're back here, and we got the first one welded on. I don't know if I showed you this guy or not yet. Um, showed you this or not. Does anyone else have an issue with words? Words just don't work. They don't flow together. I don't know. But we're cutting. We're cutting our piece of pipe or our piece of tubing. It goes back to the goes back to the words not working right. So. there well when you cut your pipe here and it takes all the weight off of this end of it she flies yeah almost died just out of curiosity if anybody cares almost got hit in the face with a bandsaw but we got the cut through so that's plus that's all that matters right and I still have 10 fingers here, or five fingers here, and five fingers here, so still got all 10. It'll make us money. So, right now, our bandsaw hits. You can see we got halfway cut through here on this angle. And our bandsaw stopped cutting because it hit right here. Our guard, our little piece here, hit over here. So now, instead of cutting it straight and resetting it all in the thing, I'm just going to take the grinder and cut along here. And then just go straight up from here and cut that. And I've already made the cut on this side. As you can see, there's a nice little cut. So I'm just gonna keep going and get it cut. So that way our bandsaw will cut the rest of the way through and have the right angle on it. So here we go. So if you're wondering how the day is going, it's a great Friday. We have now JB welded my sunglasses back together. I don't know how well it's gonna come up, but yeah. Jeremy sat on them. He put them on the seat of the forklift and then proceeded to sit on them. So thanks Jeremy. Jeremy's getting the welding finished up on this thing. And then we'll get it flipped over so that way we can weld all the bottoms. And we're gonna put end caps on the plate on the end here, and then we're gonna bend it down and fold it. Come down probably 
six inches or so. So that's what the plan is for that. Then we'll put some end caps on here. I think we're gonna do some plates in here maybe. Fill that up to give it more support, but I don't know if we need to. I mean, I think this thing's pretty solid here. Uh, Jeremy, how's that going down there? <laughs> so, anyways, we're getting that all wrapped up and done, so I think it'll turn out pretty nice. It, it looks good. So. All right, so that's gonna be it for the day. We got, I went through and put some more screws in the door, got this all finished up. Looks good. They're gonna about ready to be flipped upside down. Jeremy's taking care, this is his coronavirus killer here. Oh, bright, clean, cleaner. bright cleaner. You gotta get the non-chlorinated though. Wait, what is this stuff? You gotta get the Service Pro non-chlorinated brake cleaner. That is the stuff, coronavirus killer. Says uh, extremely flammable, so if you do get it on your hands, you can then catch yourself on fire to just singe it, you know. Because I don't think bacteria can live above 150 degrees. Does it say coronavirus on here? Well, it says keep out of reach of children, so you might not want to use it on them. Um, Cleans without disassembly. So you don't have to disassemble your hands to clean them. Leaves no residue. Um, it is, uh, the user of this flammable brake clean is responsible for determining whether this product is acceptable for the particular use and purpose and method of user's application. So obviously, I mean, it turned his hands white, nice and dry. You know, Killed bacteria it. needs water to live, right? So hands are bone dry. And <laughs> it, it can be harmful to plastic, so does that have any relation to it? I don't know, no plastic on his hands now. Uh, Liberally spray brake parts with content to allow runoff. Did you get runoff? Oh, we <laughs> According have to the floor over there, he has runoff. Uh, so she's clean. I think he's safe. Maybe. I don't know if I want to use it. Is your hands cracking yet? Not yet, but I'm sure. Maybe they tomorrow. Will. <laughs> well, we might all have to take the method of uh, brake cleaner. Number one use for killing coronavirus. Yep. All right, so that's gonna be it for the day. It's gonna sell like hotcakes. It's gonna sell like, or listen, we're gonna have a break clean shortage like toilet paper shortage. You might have to fuck yourselves. Oh man. Well, I guess we can just switch the coolant then, right? <coughs> that's gotta kill it. We better spray these fuckers. Oh, they the oh. <laughs> they got the coronavirus on them. They came from who knows who touched it. <laughs> oh, well. I hope we didn't need to return any of that. The label's gone now. <laughs> What's in it? Uh, a pair of welding gloves and some magnets. Is this the magnets? Let's see. It might have been. It looked like it almost stuck. Let's see. Ready? Try that one. I think these are the magnets. I think that's the gloves. Yeah, those are the cheap, those are cheap Amazon ones. Anyways, I think we've killed the coronavirus. Um, I'll be $15.99 per can of brake clean. You can pick it up for me, email me, hit me in the comments, DM me. I don't know. We'll see. We got 12 cans, so let me know. We'll uh, we'll kill your coronavirus for you. <laughs> Anyways, that's gonna be it for the day. We're just about done on this. We got some plates we're gonna put on. We're gonna cap it here and then fold it down. We still got that to do, but we're gonna flip it upside down to do that. We got the welding to do on the bottom side, but I think everything else is done, so we're gonna call it. And 
yeah so thanks for watching see you next time don't forget to like and subscribe too they're, they're down below and yeah thanks for watching have a good day